In this video, I will be going over the top framing plate breaks and nailing patterns. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of go around the top plates to give you an idea of how I would nail all of this stuff together. So these are 16 D nails. And then we have a strap here. I'll go over this in a little bit. And we have a lower and upper framing plate. And you can see where I have a couple of nails at the end of the plates, along with some nails where the top framing plate will extend over to connect to the other wall. And we refer to these as an ear and a channel. So the overhang would be the ear and the section it would be connecting to would be the channel. And if you notice I have a nail over the framing studs. You can see it better right here. And what this does is allows plumbers and electricians to drill through the framing plates without ruining their drill bits. And if you're going to be doing your own electrical and plumbing, you'd better pay attention to this one. And I've never found an exact code for a nailing pattern. We used to just put our nails about 16 inches on center and use one nail. And then we would use one nail kind of in the center for two by fours and then two nails for two by sixes. And you'll see a pattern of that here in a little bit. And I usually use two nails, even though I use three nails in the example over here, because you can use two, three, or four nails if you want to here, as long as the wood is not splitting. And you might consider staggering your nails sometimes, because if I just go ahead and drive about 15 nails into this section right here, there's a very good chance the wood is going to split. And once the wood splits, you're probably not going to get the structural connection that you need. And again, our two nails for our two by six wall. And again, they are over or near the framing studs. They don't have to be exactly over the framing stud. And I don't do that because I don't want to hit the nails that are going from the lower top framing plate into the wall framing stud. So I like to just move them over a little bit. And if you know for a fact you're going to have plumbing going into a certain area, then I would advise you to adjust the nailing patterns for that also. Now I have a strap here. And this is a pre-made strap that I have for my modeling project. You're going to want to have the middle of the strap over here and not over here. And of course, the reason why I installed the strap in the first place was so that I could have my four foot framing plate break work out with the wall framing. Now, what I would have needed to do in order to have the ear or the top framing plate connect to this wall here instead of using a strap would have meant that I would have had to have moved this over to here or at least four foot away from the break. And the breaks I'm referring to in the wall framing plate is the horizontal distance between the break in the top framing plate and the break in the lower framing plate. So this break right here is this distance from here to here. The next break would be from here to here. So the framing plate breaks that I'm concerned about are going to be this one, this one, this one, and then this one, and then this one, and this one, and then this one over here. But you can see where the lower wall framing plate goes all the way over to here. And I would just need to extend it over to here somehow. But in order to do that, I'm going to need a longer piece of lumber. And if the distance between here and here is more than eight feet, which it doesn't look like it is, then I could always have a plate break in the center to where I would have four foot from here to here and then from here to here. Then I could have a plate go from here all the way over to here and then extend the upper top framing plate here over to here to get the connection just like I did here and here. And hopefully that makes sense. Next up, let's head over to the corner. I'm just kind of giving you some ideas again on how I would attach this stuff together. And I have met framers who use one nail in the center like we would with two by four on the two by six. And then every once in a while they will use two nails. But again, I haven't found any nailing codes for that. So if you have them, feel free to share them with us in the comment area area. And now would be a good time to point out that in some areas this plate break only needs to be two foot and does not need to be four foot. However, in Southern California where I am, it has been four foot for a long time. And some building codes require us to put 
12 16 D nails on each side of the framing plate. And that's a lot of nails. And if your plumber needs to go through this area here, it is going to be a nightmare. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to strategically locate any framing plate breaks you have to prevent any problems with drilling holes through the framing plates. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.